Welcome to Retro Arcade Reviews. My name is John, and in this episode, we will be reviewing the arcade classic Galactic Storm. Galactic Storm is a shooter that was developed by Taito in 1991. I ran into Galactic Storm on the main list by accident and thought it looked pretty interesting. I was surprised that I never ran into this game in the arcades or never really seen a home port. In fact, it's hard to even get any credible background on the game, possibly for three reasons. One, for the obvious blasphemy in the opening intro, because, you know, people are a little sensitive when it comes down to religion. Two, I don't think I ever see the stateside release, probably because of that religious reason. And three, it came out in 1992. Although it says 91 in the title screen, it wasn't released until 1992. It was really difficult for an arcade game to make a splash in 92 because unfortunately, Street Fighter 2 came out the year before, and thus the 2D fight era had begun. So if he wasn't a 2D fighter, good luck. Even if it had come out a year earlier, some major hits came out in that year, such as Turtles in Time, Terminator 2. WrestleFest, Spider-Man, and others. It would have been extremely difficult to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with any of these giants, and that's just naming a few. Adding more fuel to the fire of obscurity is that even if you try to look this game up, you're more likely to run into this game. Which is too bad because this game is awesome McAwesomeness. Now I'm not going to get into the story because of the reasons stated earlier, but if you're really curious, I'll briefly flash it on the screen so you can pause and check it out. The game plays similar to Galaxy Force 2, which came out three years earlier. Galactic Storm uses the Taito SZ system board, which produces games that handle sprites and tile scaling similar to Sega Super Scaler series. So that means huge sprites, tons of scaling, and sweet, sweet nostalgia. Some critics of the game say that the sprites are too big and as a result makes everything feel a little cluttered. But you know what I say the bigger the better. It wasn't such a big deal to me when I was playing it, and I find that it didn't obstruct my view in any way. It won't take much to beat the game. It's pretty easy to play through and pretty brief. Sadly, Galactic Storm is one of those few games that will ultimately be a casualty of the 2D fight era, which is too bad because the game is really cool. And I say, play it and let me know what you think. 